So welcome to your 30th Visual Basic tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to move a control up and down left and right using a few buttons out on in the program. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in a panel and we haven't actually used panels before it's basically for grouping things together but in this case I'm going to be moving the panel around so I'm going to make it into a square make the form bigger because this is going to be moving around the form and then what we're going to do is just change the background color of this so that we can see it so I'm just going to change that to red and then I'm going to put a few buttons so I'm going to put four and this one is going to be change the text of this to down this one to up and I'm going to stretch it out a bit this one to left and this one to right and I'm going to stretch these out a bit too they're not perfectly the same size but that will be fine for, for this and I'm just going to move those over to the side here so that's like our little control panel thing there so I'm going to start with the down button so all we need to do here is panel one dot top so this is the amount of pixels on the top and then we're going to do equals panel one dot top plus uh, and we're going to do ten so basically what we're doing is panel one dot top equals panel one dot top plus ten and this probably sounds kind of confusing why are we setting panel one top dot top to the same as what it already is and this is because we need to set it to what it, what it is now plus 10 so if it's got 20 pixels on the top now we're going to plus 10 to make it 30 and just a quick tip a quicker way of doing this is just doing plus equals just like that so if I run this and we press down you see it's moving down by 10 pixels every time we do that so now we need to do up left and right so all we need to do here is panel one dot top because we can't do bottom I don't think so I do dot top and then minus equals to take away this much and then 10 and then for left we're gonna do panel one dot left and then um, to go left we're gonna do pl minus sorry minus equals 10 so that will move it to the left and for right same thing panel one dot left equals sorry plus equals 10 so now if I run this we can go down a lot up a lot and then left and right so you can kind of see where this be used you could kind of make like a RPG game or something or like a little game where you walk around the world but this isn't very good we would want to use arrow keys so in one of the future tutorials I'm going to be teaching you how to do the same kind of thing but with arrow keys so now what if we want to make it move on its own so what we can do is we can use timers so I'm just going to delete all this code just leave private, uh, public class form 1 and in class then I'm going to delete all these buttons and we're going to put a few timers in and then change the enabled of this timer to true and then interval I'm going to set this to about 500 so half a second there's 1000 milliseconds in a second and then we're going to add timer 1 we're going to click on timer 1 and here we're just going to do panel 1 dot top plus equals and 400 and then once that's done we're going to do timer 2 dot start and we haven't actually created timer 2 so that's why it's giving us an error so I put timer 2 in and if we double click on timer 1 the uh, error has gone away 
So now on timer two, we're just gonna do um, panel one dot left plus equals, and then um, four hundred. Now if we run this. You see it went down and then all the way across there. And it went very quickly. So what we're gonna do is just change the interval on this on timer one to um about two thousand. Then timer two is gonna be false and two thousand. So run that. And we're gonna wait two seconds and it goes down there. And then wait another two seconds and it's actually gone off the screen so that's how to move a control around the screen on its own and using buttons don't forget to comment rate and subscribe if you found this useful and i'll see you in the next tutorial